Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those those charts. So yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, a Another um, basically um, wick down that's brought back up. Um, tightening formation here as you can see um, overall. Um, you could probably say we are in an ascending channel. Um, I probably wouldn't, um, yeah, I wouldn't really call it an ascending triangle of sorts. But yeah, definitely, we are definitely in an ascending channel, um, which, uh, well, uh, potentially bearish formations, potentially break to the downside. Um, but obviously, they don't have to. I've seen plenty, plenty of um, of um, ascending channels break to the upside so nothing really to worry about too much in that respect um wait wait sorry um i'm just i'm just concentrating on drawing the line so yeah uh, nothing guaranteed in that respect that's what i mean um so yeah whilst they whilst they do um they they do statistically more likely to break to the downside i've seen plenty of them break to the upside so that's not to say we can't break to the upside that is what i was trying to say just then um so yeah um ascending channel um yeah i mean we've got these levels still we're still stair stepping up so if we if bitcoin takes out this level here our high of yesterday um well that that has got to do it guys i mean they i i literally will just say it is impossible for us to take out this high um and not hit 20k that's i will basically call it i am like i am 99 percent certain of that um but that doesn't have to happen we don't have to take out this level we are getting because because this trend has sort of flagged out and got over expend, extended we are getting all sorts of um um, bearish um, RSI divergences over various important time frames. Um, so we are potentially looking at um, putting in a high here and having a having a pullback, um, which is 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 strange for it to be so tantalisingly close to all time highs, especially when we're playing with such big numbers that Bitcoin just couldn't muster the strength to get over it. That's what I'm sort of finding hard to believe um that we won't basically do that but <clears throat> but hey um the fact the very fact the very fact that i think that and i'm saying that and other people will think that as well um <clears throat> maybe why that is getting front ran by um large orders um <clears throat> and that is obviously pinning it down because they are distributing into that and yeah if we do push high if more more fomo comes in they'll sell into that too if we push higher they'll sell into that as well but at the moment um, it does seem like the um, the fact that people think, including myself, that we're so close, why don't we just get 20k, um, that one of two things is clearly going to happen. One of those options been like what is happening, we just don't quite make it and then we sell off, um, have a pullback. Or we make it and we have a massive wick above. Um, it's unlikely that we're just going to basically tap it and say, "Oh, hey, twenty k, hey, all time highs." Right, we're just going to have a quick pullback, and I'll um, see, I'll see you guys um, in 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 a week or so. Um, yeah, that's not really how it's going to work um, because this is obviously isn't it is a big level. It is a very very big level, like psychologically, even even the triple, even well, it's not even triple O's, is it? It's um, it's it's four o's but yeah the 20 handle i mean it, it's psychological based on the 20k number it's psychological based on that will be the high um yeah i mean it's psychological based on then the news articles will be like um <clears throat> will come flooding out and um, people will have a be drawn uh people's attention will be drawn to it um yeah so um yeah that is kind of that is kind of what i am thinking here we still keep this trend line in i'll actually make this a, um, a bit darker so we don't it doesn't like uh, not a bit darker a bit thicker <laughs> i'm gonna make that white a bit darker <laughs> um i'm gonna basically make it a bit thicker just so we're not totally confusing it with this but at some point we're gonna have a pullback um as you guys um, will know nothing goes up in a straight line we've had some semi pullbacks some attempted lot this is basically an attempted larger pullback um but got bought up um <clears throat> so at some point one of these is gonna um well potentially break the bottom of this channel um and then we're gonna see a move um well potentially i mean at least uh, at least down to this support level um and do you know what that would be that would be really good that would be really good for bitcoin to basically have a range between like 17 17 and a half and well i mean we'll roughly call it 20k i mean 19 but we'll, we'll call it 17 and a half and 20k that two and a half thousand dollar range Bitcoin can just trade sideways in there. I mean, happy, happy, happy days, guys. That would be uh, an an absolute Goldilocks scenario if we can consolidate up here. Um, 
whoever wants to sell can sell whoever wants to buy can buy and then um we potentially then move up from there that would be great obviously it wouldn't be ideal if we move down from there but hey who see who sees that happening who sees that happening guys we, we're at the start of the next hype cycle the dollar's getting trolled. um so many um more uh, mainstream actors are um, um basically um showing um showing bitcoin some love um companies people individuals hedge fund managers um it's it's, it's the talk it is the talk of the town <laughs> it's the talk it's the talk of the tune um but yeah so basically people are uh, talking about bitcoin so um i don't think we are gonna basically um to go into a, go into a bear market again i think we are gonna have to come and test somewhere in here before savage pullback before then more side side where you want to top out um and then um have a uh, have a have a have a have a new bear market again for a little bit um potentially so but that is way that is way out in the future we're not we're not considering that so um anyway i've gone off a bit of a tangent there for the morning's video normally the 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 what the, the what the waffling on a bit uh, is normally what i do in the evening's video but yeah i mean um we are we are looking at um a potential top being put in here and it just seems like there's the people that think well we're going to make it above 20k clearly and have a wick up um, and the people that are distributing into this thinking well if we do i'll just sell more up there um, because people are expecting a pullback at, at the end of the day the way i would see it the way i do see it is that even if we do break above here if you're holding a half decent amount of bitcoin you can sell here you can sell here you can sell here and i'm pretty you would be pretty certain you're going to get an opportunity to buy back at least here if not here maybe even here before then catapulting upwards again um that would be um <clears throat> that would be a, a sensible view to have i believe um but yeah we are getting um um like lots, lots of um lots of dive bearish divergences um coming in um we are um fully extending this rally we are nearly at all-time highs we've not had a blow off top um uh, it has this whole move has been relatively orderly um and you all you always want to see those blow off tops or and then obviously in bear markets those um like massive blow off bottoms or whatever you call that um um wick lows um to basically signal the end but um we don't seem to be getting that but um but hey uh, markets don't always do my markets won't always trade that way and um, we can easily just turn around uh, here and start to come down i mean that's basically what head and shoulders patterns are aren't they they are sort of this sort of thing happening i mean maybe we're just gonna form a sort of um head and shoulders but like two shoulders two shoulders here head and two shoulders here and then come back down maybe maybe or maybe that will be what will happen it looks like that was happening but we will just continue to trade in this range and then break up so that is way um too much crystal ball speculation um for this morning let's have a look at some actual um other um, um real real things other than just my views and opinions um dollar index on uh coming up onto a um four hour nine um so yeah i mean for our nine i mean could we get acceleration down into the 91s and then basically play out this range we could you guys know how i feel about accelerations on for on nines on nines not necessarily for our nines but just nines we are below these levels um i mean I mean, to just to tag this, to have a pullback and then uh, consolidate here and take it out would look very normal. Um, it's going to take a lot to turn the dollar around for fundamental reasons that I've um, already, I've explained in previous videos. So I won't um, um, bore you with those again at the moment. Um, but yeah, looking bearish, basically, clearly good for Bitcoin. Um, which is interesting, though, that gold, gold and silver are not doing spectacularly with this uh, move down. Silver is not doing as bad, in all fairness. Silver is fine, to be honest. Um, silver, it does look does look good in within this formation. It doesn't look like it's going to break down. Um, gold basically is breaking down, um, but we've got this important level where I'd expect. Um, I mean, I expect gold to be accumulated at all levels down. I, I'm seeing arguments of people that are saying that gold would be a lot higher if it wasn't for Bitcoin um yeah i don't know how i feel about that but um it's because the gold market and the money in, involved is obviously massive compared to the money involved in bitcoin so i just don't see that that is really affecting it because if even like say a certain x percentage of the money was coming out of gold that would have a, a massive impact on the bitcoin market and the bitcoin's in the market is not even at all-time highs so that's what i would say about that um, it's near all-time highs, but you'd expect it to be fully and fully through all-time highs. But um, yeah, that's just uh, another bit of crystal ball views there. No, it's not crystal balls, but that's just my opinion. Um, so Ethereum, Bitcoin, um, obviously, um, 
all eyes are on this. Um, yeah, topped out in a 409. I mean, this is looking like... Um, it, I mean, this is looking like we'll at least come and back test this, and then we'll decide if we basically break above it or if we uh, bounce off it and come back down. But, um, I mean, overall, um, I am um, <laughs> hoping for an old season. Um, so if this can get moving, that would um, that would obviously help. That I mean, don't forget, there's, there's there is there will be at some point a lot of new money coming in that just will basically buy Bitcoin, then hear about the other altcoins, then pile into the other altcoins, uh, and then we'll just have an altcoin season just based on that, um, just on that flow of new money. Because don't forget, new money is very important to these markets. The 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 the, the, the ebb and flow, the the tide of 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 current money in the market moving between say into DeFi into Bitcoin back into altcoins back into wherever that flow of money is great that's good to basically ride those waves you can um, definitely make a lot of money but the real money and what would have real impact on the market is basically new money coming in that new fresh capital that can just go and pump whatever it wants and it isn't reliant on money coming out of somewhere else um so i mean that is what we've been talking about um with the bitcoin dominance having a massive um dump um sorry a massive pump um whilst um bitcoin was going up it's like it just wasn't that it wasn't the most healthy looking sign because it just showed that capital was coming out of vaults to pump bitcoin um that that simple yeah fair enough some extra capital was maybe coming in but um a lot of a lot of capital was coming in from altcoins and that's just like we're just playing with ourselves basically aren't we we're just playing with our own capital shifting it around trying to get ahead of the trends jumping on the trends um and yeah just trying to ride out those waves um but we'd want new money we want new money we basically want a bigger pie we want uh we want basically a bigger pie basically that's that's kind of the the analogy um you can have like a larger slice of a of a of a the of an, an equal size or small even getting smaller pie that's great but wouldn't you rather have um uh, even an equal um size slice of a bigger pie um and then potentially if you get the fund flows right um an even bigger slice of a bigger pie the the dream the goldilocks scenario <laughs> how many analogies can we use how many, how many analogies can we use in one in one um sentence in one um description but anyway um ethereum um yeah i mean ethereum i mean if we look at this this is more so of a a of a um a blow off top as you can see smooth smooth price action and then big pump up but um that's more what you'll see uh, um expect to see um so i mean yeah i mean si even potentially even sideways to down here for this but um but my view is that we could still see upside because we are um we've not really got any important levels where we are once we get to about 700 and then potentially 800 so i don't see a lot in the way so I don't see a lot of people not just thinking this can just skyrocket. Don't forget, Bitcoin um, is at nearly all-time highs, and Ethereum is well. If we say it's got a five handle, I mean, I'm a bit, I'm obviously exaggerating a little bit, and we say it topped out at fifteen hundred. Um, <laughs> that's like um, it's like it's basically a three x to all-time highs. Obviously, you know, we're basically at six hundred. But either way, you get my point. We are a long way from all-time highs in Ethereum, so people will be looking at this, and I think this has this has got the potential to get up to here before any sort of serious consolidation or retrace. Um, and then obviously Bitcoin dominance will play a lot of part in that. He's got it's got a long way to run. Bitcoin dominance has if you believe that we are going to come and tap anywhere down here. Um, it's going to I mean, if we tap down here, Ethereum is basically going to be um, way, way, way beyond all time highs. Um, I would believe um, based on the fact that also Bitcoin will be higher as well. So Bitcoin will be higher. Bitcoin dominance will be lower. Uh, and Ethereum would be um, over 1500 uh, at that point. Obviously, if we get down here and Bitcoin's still around about where it is, I mean, that won't equal all time highs for Ethereum. Maybe about $1,000 Ethereum, but um, yeah, not all time highs. Uh, stock markets. Um, yeah, stock markets still looking looking good. I mean, there's, um, yeah, <laughs> what, what did someone say in the chat? Um, the riot stock markets are riding with Biden, <laughs> basically. Um, they're not riding with Biden. They're riding with basically um, just money printing from the Fed and um, and with um, 
potential UBI come in, potential basically dollar devaluation or actual dollar devaluation um, here and come more come in. Um, and that would have happened under either Trump or Biden. So, yeah, I mean, just whatever, whatever fits your political narrative. Yeah, you can claim it's whoever. I mean, we're not we're not we're not really political here. Um, I, I, I entertain political views for just for um for the sake of it and and it does have certain impacts on certain parts of the market remember those fund flows you're talking about but so far as overall pie size um asset inflation is basically that that pie um is going to grow just as as currency gets devalued and then yeah different people different political people might um affect the flows of funds within that in within that pie but it is growing until basically um basically hyperinflation <laughs> until basically the currency goes to zero um and even then it will grow based in that currency but i don't think the economy will do too well in general under that under that um, um circumstance um yep 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 so that is all done and dusted so we'll have a look at the stoke assets are they are they telling us that we are going to um see uh, potentially see a pullback soon so four hour rsi um actually it's got a trend line here that it got rejected at so i mean based on this trend are we going to come and see a level down here which will definitely coincide with a pullback um in um uh, i think that would easily get us around that 17 and a half if we if the four hour gets down to here uh, potentially 17 and a half k um 10 hour uh 10 hour up pointing up though um pointing up though um and 12 hour um also pointing up so i mean they are they are obviously looking good and uh, they're clearly more important than the um four hour um daily as well <laughs> looking all right um and then these these higher time frames are going to be doing their higher time frame thing off the back of obviously the large moves so i mean four hours only first indication of weakness here but those other time frames are kind of telling us that yeah we are going to come and tap 20k probably have like a nice liquidity hunt to the upside maybe trade around here a bit as people get pretty excited and then basically slam them down um towards the bottom of this range um yeah potential potential scenario we love we love making uh up potential scenarios don't we but yeah that is it guys so sorry about the slightly longer video this morning um remember this is not financial advice and i am not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys uh later on today